Hey guys, this is Sophie from Round Android Smartwatch G Plus and Forum. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about the M2D app. I know many of you have problem with it, so I'm gonna say from the first, the version that I'm using is the tablet version. The smartphone version doesn't work, so you, if you wanna use this app, use it with the tablet version. If you're not, you can use Watch Droid or Push Bullet. Push Bullet will work only with 3G, Wi-Fi, doesn't work with BT. Watch Droid work with BT, doesn't work with Wi-Fi and 3G. What I like about M2D, I can use it with any kind of connectivity. I mean, I can use it with 3G, I can use it with Wi-Fi, and I can use it with BT. I need the, the BT app, but again, with three connectivities, I can use it. That's why I love it and I prefer this app over the watch droid. As you can see, I want to show you that this version works just fine. I'm using 3G. I'm, I have tried it on the Wi-Fi. I haven't tried it on the BT. I will try now. I will shut down 3G and I will see if with BT there is a problem or not. And then it's your consideration to use it with BT or use it with Wi-Fi and 3G. As you can see, everything configured. If you hear everything configured the same as here. I mean, the sender key. What I've put here, I've put the same here in the sender key. What I've put in receiver key here, I've put the same in receiver key here on the watch. I mean, like, sender key is one, two, three, four. Sender key here is one, two, three, four. Receiver key here is four, three, two, one. Receiver key here is four, three, two, one. The code that I put here is a code I took from the version app of the smartwatch. Then your encryption key here has to be the same as the encryption key here. If you put here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you will put here the same. You mark here whatever you want, same here, and of course you have the debug mode, you have to mark it in the phone and on your smartwatch. Now let's go back, now I'm going to send a send test notification. I want to show you something. If you look carefully, BT is off, Wi-Fi is off. If I go back, you see the 3G is on. Now I'm gonna send a text message. Send text message. You see, I got it. Just a sec. Let's do another one. See? Another one. Oh. Okay, worked just fine. Now I'm gonna go back to settings and Put on. You see, cellular is off. I want to show it's off. As you see, let's go back. Let's turn on Wi-Fi. Not sure that Wi-Fi is on. Just a sec. I need to see if Wi-Fi is on. Yeah, I'm connected. Then I'm gonna send a test, send test message. Let's turn off the screen. The reason the screen is not on because I did not want it to go to, to turn on. It's battery draining, so I prefer it to get a vibration and a sound notification and not to turn on my watch, my smartwatch screen because I get lots of notification and I prefer that the screen will not turn on just because of battery issue. Let's do another one. You see, it's working just fine. Now I want to go and do with the same thing with the app, but I need to configure it. But, uh, till now, I haven't used the app, the BD app, so I'm going to do that. I just want to first to turn off Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi is off. 
Now I'm going to the BD. Allow. Cancel. Okay. The same I'm going to do here. I'm going to the BT app. Okay. I somehow the okay, wait. Um Q seven. If I'm not mistaken, I'm done. I don't know why. Yeah okay, I have to just a sec. Let's try again. What the hell? Okay, the bit is not working fine. Just, okay. I'm going to settings, apps. Where is it? Oh. Hate doing this. Come on. I really hate doing this. For stop, uh, let's clear data first of all. Storage. Clear data. Yep. Okay. For stop. For stop. Okay, let's go back, Lotus, select device, Q7, connect, and connect. Ah, sorry. There is no device. Oh, crap. Okay, I have to go to Bluetooth and see. Oh. And see if my Note 7 should be here. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Go back. I have no idea. Since that the problem is with the BT app not the m2 descender app uh, i will have to go and clean everything again oh, i hate doing this Shh. Shh. And here, I'm gonna clean data. What? For some. Okay, let's go back and see now. Connect, connect. Mm. Voila, connected. Okay. It seems that the problem is with the BT app. Let's just see. I hope it won't forget the devices. Doing this every time, it's not ideal. Now I'm gonna send again. Test message and let's see if it's work. Yep, working. Voila, working just fine. That means I don't have a problem with the BT app. I don't have a problem with Wi-Fi and I don't have problem with 3G. Something in your configuration maybe isn't, isn't right. You need to understand that look carefully for every key that you put in there is right. Sometimes it's just not. 
So, I'm gonna give, show you the last time. Yeah, as you see, it's disconnected. Crap, I hate this. I wanna see where it is. Okay, you see, disconnected. Not connecting. Ah, I know why. Battery is gone. Well, tell you the truth, the watch was over 24 hours up, so I'm pleased. Okay, this is this is my my conclusion about the M2D app. As I told you, the tablet version works just fine, and as you saw, it worked fine with the BD app, the Wi-Fi, and the 3G. This is your decision to use it or not. I like it more than the watch droid because watch droid, every time that I open light on my screen on the watch, the app just jump up. I did not like it. And again, I don't see the benefits of watch droid over the M2D. I know that the developer of WatchDroid works on it and improving it, but for now, I prefer the M2D because I use it with 3G, and for me, it's just perfect. Okay, see you later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and use our forum and 3G for everything that you need. Any question you have, feel free to ask. Goodbye.